beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Praise the Lord for his faithfulness. We, we thank him for everything he's doing in our lives as individuals and as a ministry. Listen. It is God's idea that in every territory there be apostolic and prophetic voices that coordinate the spiritual growth of a people within a territory. It is not God's desire that there be a barrenness of apostolic and prophetic voices that can build and equip people. Hallelujah. So God's system of kingdom advancement is territorial such that in every territory there must be representatives the way the bible will say the church in ephesus the church in philippi the church in corinth there must be a church a body of believers a spiritual institution that is responsible for the upbringing and the maturing of the saints hallelujah and we are glad and privileged that God has made this ministry and this platform an opportunity and an access point, a portal with which he will speak to this territory and by extension across the nations. We just returned from Abel Kuta this evening. It was an awesome time. The hand of God was strong upon that place and you cannot imagine how the teachings have set that territory on fire. We bless God for what he's done. Hallelujah. It's good to be back home. I miss some of you. Some. Some of you I didn't miss you at all. Praise the Lord. Tonight is a communion service. So, um, we'll be having the communion later on. But I want to I want to share with us something very powerful tonight. God is opening us up to the mysteries of the kingdom. Everybody say the mysteries of the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom represent the secret codes of operation. Please listen. Please listen. When we talk of a mystery, I know that I've said it again and again, but I want you to write it down. A mystery is a secret code of operation. A mystery is a secret code of operation. It is 
a hidden strategy a hidden strategy usually spiritual a hidden strategy that guarantees a predictable outcome please make sure you're writing a hidden strategy usually spiritual that guarantees a predictable outcome one of the ways that God designed the church to rise in dominion listen one of the ways that in his infinite wisdom he designed that the church will walk in dominion is to grant them access to the mysteries of the kingdom Matthew chapter 13 verse 11 says it has been given to you the church the ecclesia it has been given to you to know the word know there is not to be aware it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom everyone say it has been given to me say it it has been given to me to know to understand to comprehend the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah the same way you see a husband and a wife please look up a husband and a wife and when a visitor is in their house they have secret codes of communication for instance the man has a secret way he tells his wife go and get the wine and bring for the visitor whereas the visitor does not know that a conversation is flying around him it's called a mystery there are mysteries in the kingdom that culminate into dominion the concept of dominion and kingdom authority is not an issue of chance it's not an issue of wish it's not an issue of begging it's an issue of contending to understand the mysteries the secret codes of operation witchcraft for instance thrives on mysteries hallelujah it's a mystery brothers and sisters when a herbalist invokes the name of a man in a calabash right and brings a picture of that person whereas the man is in town doing something else and then they pick up a knife or whatever it is and strike the picture and then as far as they are concerned the man is dead is that true whereas in the physical the man is making his own plans i should travel i should do this and that and he becomes an eventual victim of something that had been engaged in the book of job the bible tells us how that a man called job was a great man he loved god and he has shoot evil and then the bible says one day there was a meeting watch this there was a meeting in the heavenlies and job became the subject of discussion while that was happening did you know that job was not aware he was in the earth only for him to be a victim of the conclusion of a meeting that has happened somewhere and so when believers are equipped please listen when believers are equipped the bible tells us that the word of god is the sword of the spirit a symbol of authority and a symbol of dominion life becomes predictable when you understand the mysteries of the kingdom life becomes predictable success becomes guaranteed the the pathway of destiny becomes predictable only when you understand the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah let's see how we can get more people in even if it's just to squeeze standing please can we do that let's see how we can get occupy all these seats please take the empty seats there's no reason why there should be people standing there just squeeze them as as much as possible we really apologize this venue is already small um, so let's have them do that in one or two minutes if they can that's all right if they cannot it's okay just just squeeze around look for a place thank you jesus oh.
mysteries that a mystery is a secret code of operation is a hidden strategy the bible says that these things have been hidden from the princes of this world so that no matter the level of a man's education no matter the level of physical and sociological orientation the bible tells us that it takes the spirit of god for a man to access the mysteries of the kingdom age will not reveal mysteries education cannot reveal mysteries social status cannot reveal mysteries orientation cannot reveal mysteries Elihu said in chapter 32 verse 8 he says but there is a spirit in man there is an agency of the Holy Ghost at work in a man that can bring illumination to your spirit man and make men of understanding it's not a scientific formula it's not something you calculate mathematically it's not something that you you bring up like a chemical equation it's an activity of the spirit mysterious yet it can be understood and one of the deep mysteries of the kingdom is what i want to share with us tonight i consider what i'm about to share with us a part of the foundational mysteries that should be taught the church that when someone gets born again and filled with the holy spirit as we are teaching them the rudiments of faith and etc this mystery i'm about to reveal to us is an ancient secret many people have understood um, that it brings blessings but they have not been taught the dynamics of its operation help us tonight holy spirit hallelujah praise the lord write this word down the blessing the blessing Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 Genesis 1 verse 26 and God said an Elohim the Hebrew word here is Elohim is in plural the singular is Eloha and Elohim said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them watch this this is the mandate let them have dominion over the fish of the sea the fowl of the air and um over all the cattle the earth and every creeping thing watch this this was god's idea in the creation of man that let us make man in such a way that every element of creation can respond to them the same way it responds to us the cattle the earth the waters the wind let us create them with a spiritual equipping that makes creation to respond to man in the same way he would have responded to god and then this was a strategy 27. so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created them read 28 the first four words one to read one more time one more time the bible says and god blessed them i know that we've heard about blessings to us blessings just means to proclaim goodwill to someone or to 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 bring in the supernatural to partner with the person no 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 no. the first time we see the word blessed being used in the bible and god in order to fulfill that mandate of making creation respond to man something needed to come upon man there was an ability upon man that will make creation begin to respond to him 
in the exact same way he would have responded to God. And the Bible says, and God blessed him. He released a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit upon man. And at once, watch this, the moment that anointing, that ability came upon man, at once, creation started obeying him. Please listen. The earth started obeying him. The cattle, the Bible says that he brought the animals together so that he would name them. No animal fought man. No tree produced thorns and thistles for man because there was something upon him. Please listen. Let them have dominion, not by fighting, not by trying to lobby their way, that something will come upon them that will empower them to use words because this is a sound planet. It's a planet that revolves around words. And then he says, and God bless them. And this is what he said would happen on account of the blessing. Be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish. I give you an ability to bring things again even when they die. And then he says, subdue. And he says, have dominion. Please watch this. So we see that there was a mysterious spiritual factor in the creation of man that made plants and animals and situations and circumstances respond to him. It was not an issue of luck. It was not an issue of age. It was not an issue of gender. There was a mystery. A secret code of operation. And with it, Adam began to do mighty things. Watch this. When man fell, certain things happened. Man lost this mysterious spiritual enablement. And at once, creation started fighting man. Watch this. Creation no longer respected man again. The animals, the plants. God never cursed man. He cursed the earth. Do you know what it means? In other words, he cut that flow of obedience from the earth towards man. The same way it would have happened to him. Are you getting the point now? So man would no longer speak to the earth and say produce. And then it would produce. And everything that came out of the earth and the waters began to disobey and fight man. Because something was lost. Man's life from that point became scientific man's life from that point became an issue of chance man's life from that point became an issue of experimentation man's life from that point became an issue of guessing every time god wanted to make creation obey man even if it was temporarily he through his words restored momentarily that very factor that's how noah brought all the animals to the ark the bible tells us that he was instructed to build an ark and that the ark would be of gopher wood no other wood would do so an ability came upon noah to speak to the earth that only gopher wood will grow sufficient to be able to build the ark and noah stood and called the animals and they started coming two by two seven by seven no rebellion and all through the period of the flood there was decorum in the ark because the blessing was at work are you getting what i'm saying please i want you to pay attention because this will change your life forever hallelujah this is exactly what happened to daniel in the den of lions when the angel appeared, the lions were not afraid of the angel. The moment something happened, it suddenly became like the Garden of Eden. And the lions calmed down. No need for agitation. No need for fighting. Creation under the feet of man. Circumstances under the feet of man because of an ability that is resident within him. Now watch this. When God called Abraham, I needed to get this very easily. God called Abraham and said, Abraham, come. I am going to make you the father 
of nations i am going to literally make you the landlord of the earth and anybody who is connected to you i'm going to do something to you abraham that will make the earth obey you i will do something to you that will make you become um like the the originator of this spiritual civilization and watch this when he told abraham abraham was a weak man an idol worshiper who lived in a place called all of the chaldeans and then he says come out of your father's house and out of your kindred and all of that to a land that i will show you are you getting what i'm saying as at the time he spoke to abraham in chapter 12 of genesis he said i will let's go to genesis 12 from verse 1 and then 2 it had not yet happened in his life he was telling him what will happen he says now the lord had said unto abraham get thee out of your country from your kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that i will show you verse 2 read everyone one to read stop watch this look at what he's telling noah i mean abraham he's saying abraham i want to do all of these things to you i will make you a nation how will one man become a nation then he says i will bless you he says i will make your name great he says you shall be a blessing verse three read everyone want to read watch stop that let me explain something to you do you know the meaning of this in other words for any man to be blessed he must bless you listen 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 this is a deep spiritual mystery i will make you an epitome of blessing such that men can tap into your blessing by blessing you the more that every time they bless you they are authorized to receive what is upon you are you getting what i'm sharing now now and then he says i will cause him that costs you this is a dangerous statement and then he says in B that means the goal is not for this substance to remain on you alone the goal is that through you the entire creation like I intended in the Garden of Eden will now walk in this factor called the blessing and they having the blessing will bring creation once again under subjection are you getting what I'm saying do you understand me so far this was God's proposal. As at this time, it had not happened yet. It was a proposal he was making. Like you call a man and say, follow me. There are benefits. I will pay you 100,000 and I will give you weekends. So God was giving him his proposal. Watch this. A lot of us talk so much about Abraham and how that Abraham became great. But I want to show you something very interesting that happened to him. Chapter 14, please. Open our eyes. 14 verse 17. Genesis 14 verse 17. Please, let's hurry up. The Bible says, and watch this. This was when they went to, Abraham went to fight and recover Lot and all the things that they had stolen. It says, and the king of Sodom went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of um, all that long name. And of the kings that were there with him at the valley of Shaveh, which is the king's tale. Watch this, 18. Now we see a mysterious figure. Please listen. The first time we see the appearance of this man no history he says and melchizedek who was the king of an ancient city of peace called salem brought forth bread and wine watch this the bible says and he was the priest of who the most high god let's see his encounter with abraham next verse he says abraham he blessed him okay let's look at 20 and then we'll come back to verse 19 so that we we'll understand it in context he said 
and blessed be the most high God which had delivered thy enemies to your hands and what happened the Bible says and he gave Abraham gave Melchizedek what tithes of all watch this so this is the interaction that happened Abraham meets this strange man called Melchizedek and he takes the tithe a tenth portion of the spoils and then he gives to Melchizedek and then Melchizedek pronounces a blessing let's go back to verse 19 and this is the blessing he says and he blessed him are you seeing now the same way God blessed Adam he says and he blessed him and said blessed be Abraham of the most high God how can I a man bless a fellow man with this kind of blessing he said you will be the possessor of both the heavens and the earth that means everything from the heavens down to the earth is your possession ah. this is a very strange activation you can only bless men because such as you have you give who is this strange guy called Melchizedek that can bless a man and say from the atmosphere and the heavenlies let everything be subject to you and from that time watch this Abraham mysteriously began to be rich in cattle and, 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 and land and all of that and not only that from him came Isaac and not only him he became the father what we call the father of faith from this one encounter hallelujah now turn with me to Genesis chapter 2 so we see that the only interaction watch this the only interaction between Abraham and Melchizedek is tithe that's the only thing that brought them together tithe not a long story not discussions not conversations tithe Genesis chapter 2 verse 15 Genesis 2 verse 15 Arabosa and the Lord God took the man talking about Adam now and put him into Eden to dress it and to keep it verse 16 he gave him an instruction and the Lord commanded the man watch this please pay attention he says of every tree of the garden you can freely eat I give you access in the kingdom you don't own things you only have access anytime you are an owner in the kingdom it will bring worry it will bring stress the reason why high blood pressure is killing many people is because they are the owners of what they have in the kingdom you are only given access not ownership the prodigal son had access but he wanted ownership the moment ownership started lack and limitation started in his life until he returned back to access are you getting blessed now praise the Lord so the Bible says of every tree you may freely eat next next verse please 17 but of the tree watch this but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shall not eat it says for in the day that you eat thereof you will surely die now watch the instruction I give you every tree but there is one that I kept in the garden that is the tithe of that garden and it says do not touch it you can access every other tree but I put a restriction on this one leave it to me he said the moment you touch this one you engage something in the spirit that you may not know that will have to force you out of this place of abundance are you getting the point now for as long as man honored God with the tithe and did not touch God's designated portion we call it a portion that has been designated for God the Bible says man kept having paraphrasing now 
abundance of supplies and creation remains subject to him are you seeing that this is not just about abundance this is about dominion this is not just about abundance this is about dominion our theology of tithing is tied to just money wrong tithe is an ancient mystery of dominion watch this the bible says your dominion is at the mercy of many mysteries including that of the time and then watch what satan does he comes to man aware of god's principles and then he makes man to touch the tithe god's portion as soon as that happened man lost dominion he went out of the garden of eden the garden of the lord and all of that began to happen in his life suffering hardship creation no longer respected him so when melchizedek came to abraham this is what he was telling abraham in effect abraham nothing will respond to you and that prophecy that god wants to bring to you will remain inactive you will have to activate this operation and the way you do it is to bring god's portion as a symbol of honor and a recognition watch this the moment abraham did that like adam like noah creation started responding to him we see dominion at work in abraham's life are you getting blessed now now watch this. the subject of tithing in the church has been erroneously taught or taught in an incomplete way we have taught tithing to be that um it is the way of running away from trouble or it is the way of bringing financial supplies to a church and so many believers have not been taught that part of the ordinances that establish their dominion within a territory part of the spiritual laws that make both animate and inanimate things to respond to you as though you were living in the garden of eden is to bring before god the portion watch this no man can bless himself it is against the law no man can bless himself it is not given to you to bless yourself the time write that word down what is your tithe your tithe is a tenth portion one tenth your tithe is a tenth portion one tenth of your increase a tenth portion of your increase required by God write it down required by God as part of the spiritual mysteries that activates the operation of the blessing upon your life your tithe is a tenth portion of your increase required by God that activates the operation of what the Bible calls the blessing upon your life What exactly is this blessing? Let's talk about it in one moment. In the New Testament, we know that the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit. It's a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit that empowers you for dominion. It, it works in a way um, that authorizes creation to respond to you. Please pay attention. This is what we call good luck. This is what we call good luck. Have you seen human beings who it looks like no matter what happens in their lives, they are always at the point of advantage. Everything seems to happen well for them. We say they are lucky or we say they are fortunate. They are the ones men want to sow into. They are the ones people want to bless. When a situation happens like a, like a, like chance, the chance still lands on them it's not 
a mistake there is an operation of an ancient spiritual mystery upon their lives your gathering today is not just chance it's a direct operation of an ancient spiritual mystery that will work for anybody who knows how to activate its operation are you getting what I'm saying now this is very important so the Bible says watch this the Bible says how that you should bring it says um, all the tithes of the land all of the tithes in the book of Leviticus he said it belongs to the Lord so the tithe is not just what you give God the tithe is his portion in everything he gives you the tithe is God's portion untouchable it is not something you do when you have money it is one of the keys to commanding creation to submit to you please I want you to please for God's sake pay attention don't miss what I'm sharing with you you will rise out from where you are to a dimension you never dreamt of if you pay attention to what I'm sharing with you every door in the spirit can be opened when you have the keys that it refused to open for you does not mean it cannot be opened hallelujah is God speaking to us now so you see that there is a relationship between the tithe the blessing and dominion everybody say the tithe everybody say the blessing everybody say dominion I've defined the tithe God's portion let's write down the blessing let me talk about it a bit what exactly is the blessing and how does it operate in the life of a man the blessing the blessing is an operation of the Holy Spirit if you want you can call it an anointing it's a dimension of the operation of God that activates dominion upon the life of a man that activates dominion that means the authorization to rule and reign over creation the authorization to rule and reign over situations and circumstances the authorization to make creation listen to you the exact same way it would have listened to the Christ are you seeing why the devil fights time because he knows watch this that there is a relationship between your type there is a relationship between it and the blessing. And then there is a relationship between the blessing and your dominion. How many believers think they are doing God a favor when they tithe? Now, in ancient times, um, your tithe represented any increase in your value. Whether cattle, whether sheep, um, whether land, whatever it is. But in our contemporary society today, because your money, your notes now, represents, is the representation of the value that you have. So your tithe becomes monetary. But according to God's original design, it's not just about money. Are you seeing why it deceives a lot of people? Because we think that tithe is about money, Naira now. No, tithe is about God's portion whatever it is that he has given you there is a portion for himself as a symbol watch this as a symbol of your acknowledgement that he is the provider two as a symbol of your honor to him number three as a connection to the continuity of that manifestation in your life let me tell you what happens when a man does not tithe. Do you know what happens when you do not tithe? The earth was caused by God. Watch this. The cause that God gave the earth is not the cause of the law. So the coming of Christ did not take away that cause. That cause, what Christ came to annul was the cause that came with the law. The cause upon the earth is still intact. 
the earth here is symbolic it does not just mean crown alone it means creation you cannot avert the cause that is upon creation it's called the bondage of corruption you can only exempt yourself and the way you exempt yourself from its effect is tithing bringing back God's designated portion that every time you are not tithing the earth is authorized to treat you like the fallen man this is terrible and so you find out that all kinds of woes happen to people it was Malachi the prophet who arranged it together to give us some level of spiritual intelligence before Malachi we did not have the understanding that ABC will happen when we tithe and ABC will not happen when we do not tithe the curse is inevitable upon any life any church any organization that fails to tie out of revelation and understanding this is the predicament of many of us sitting down right now looking at me it's not about lack it's not about lack it's about creation refusing to respond to you are you are you getting the point now so your dominion is thwarted completely when God's portion is not returned to him hallelujah are you getting the point now this was what Melchizedek was teaching Abraham Abraham forget about dominion when you are still holding God's portion you cannot activate the operation of the blessing upon your life and then he says this and Abraham blessed him with all of the tithes and then a pronouncement was made upon his life that turned around his destiny let's go to Malachi chapter 3 please by me kings reign and princes decree justice with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches Malachi please chapter 3 let's begin our reading from verse 8 and let's hear what the prophet has to tell us Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 everyone read the first five words one two read answer it the answer is personal. That's what God is asking you. Will a man rob God? Ah, how does the prophet start talking about robbery now? Will a man, will a church rob God? Will an organization rob God? It's a question. And then he says, yet. Because your answer would have been no. And he says, yet ye have robbed me. So, the prophet is speaking on behalf of heaven and he's talking about the issue of stealing and robbery here. He says, but ye say, wherein have we robbed you? And he said, in what? In tithes and offering. That means you have violated a principle. Next verse, as a result. Read it. Watch this. He says, as a result of robbing me, as a result of keeping back the portion that activates the operation of the blessing and compels creation to hear you and respond to you, enforcing your dominion. He says, you are cursed. Not that God is saying, I curse you. He's saying, inevitably, you now become the victim. Of situations and circumstances because the principle of exemption has been violated are you getting what I'm saying now and then he says for you have robbed me even this whole a nation can rob God a church can rob God a business can rob God an organization can rob God he says whoever you are if you do not engage in this mystery of exemption and dominion inevitably the cause of creation will catch up with you it's not if it's when it will catch up then it gives you a remedy next verse bring ye how many 
is telling you now the prophet malachi is teaching us how to get back into the the mysterious secret of exemption that brings us into the blessing and brings us ultimately into dominion he says bring ye all the tithes into my storehouse that there may be meat in mine house and prove me now here with sayeth the lord of hosts if i will not these are the blessings now that will happen to you number one is what the heavens will be open write it down the first key that the prophet shows us that will happen to a man that dares to return God's portion is that you walk under an open heavens. The heavens are closed over many people. The heavens are closed over many churches. You can produce posters and handbills and do everything you know to do. When the heavens are closed, it becomes obvious to men. There are many people binding all kinds of demons and the demons keep mocking you because the moment you are walking in rebellion, they are authorized to find expression. They are called rulers of darkness. Their dominion is activated whenever there is darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying now? This is not about money. This is about the quality of your existence. This is about dominion. This is about activating the blessing. That anointing, that, that grace, that agency of the spirit upon your life. Number two, he says, and I will pour you out a blessing. Now, this is, this is amazing. A blessing. It says that there will not be room enough to receive it. Meaning, I will pour you a blessing that your lifetime cannot exhaust it. Your very lifetime you will have to necessarily transfer it to your children and children's children watch this this principle of tithing is the surest way to guarantee the future of your children and your children's children anytime you fail to tithe you just stole from their future and rob them every time you fail to tithe you sign a covenant of poverty a covenant with your children and children's children authorizing creation to fight them you will not have room enough to contain it you will have to transfer it so the bible says a good man liveth an inheritance for his children's children according to the order of the blessings of fatherhood and tithing it should extend to the fourth generation that means if you tithe, you secure your generation to the fourth. If your children tithe, they secure their generation. It's God's system of maintaining dominion upon the earth. Are you getting blessed now? How many of you are already signing poverty and signing hardship for your unborn children? This is what many of our parents did to us. And so you get up and you find out that creation fights you. Everywhere you go, everything is fighting you. You call it bad luck. Everything fights you. Everything fights you. Opportunities come and go. Nothing seems to work well. God's designated portion. Let me tell you something about the operation of demon spirits. Do you know why many people keep going through deliverance again and again and again and it does not happen because it's not just by casting we're talking of legal grounds here are you getting me now when a demon comes to manipulate an entity or an individual illegally you can cast that person just by the name of jesus are you getting what i'm saying but when you willfully authorize the operations of demons there is no amount of prayer and fasting that will cast it away the only key that can speak is the blood of jesus that is the situation that he said they overcame them these kinds of cases it's not just by saying go out no they overcame them why because when you invoke the blood he comes in as your substitute that becomes the only remedy of him giving you a chance to start again how many believers have disgraced and mocked themselves running around from one deliverance house to another my job is not working 
I need promotion. Let me tell you, when creation fights you, you are a loser for life. I guarantee you. I don't care what opportunities open. I don't care what comes to you. When the creation does not submit to you, everything will work against you. Your children always become the dullest. When rain is washing houses, you are the one that it will wash your house. When anything bad is happening, I say, ah, why is bad luck happening to me? Bad luck is not happening to you. Creation is engaging the cause that you refuse to exempt yourself out of. See, Job knew this. Job, Job knew this. That was why he was so, he was so passionate about tithes and offerings to an extent that when his children were not even doing anything wrong, he would do it in advance for them. That's how the fortune of Job was restored. It's a mystery. You would think that a man who had gone to the lowest point in his life would never be able to rise again. But by the mystery. A man called J.C. Penny. Many of you know him. A Christian businessman. He began to practice tithing. And supernaturally, God started opening opportunities for him. And he rose to a, a point where his organization, you would call it too big to fail. And he said, look, I cannot be tithing hundreds of millions of dollars i mean it, it's, it's too much and he stopped and everything was died and he came back to the scratch let me tell you don't play with spiritual laws they are older than you when you play with spiritual laws it's like playing with fire whether you believe it or not it will tear you into pieces and leave you there there are people who have found peace with creation it's like how elders do this. They call it appeasing the gods. So they pour small wine on the ground. They say this is for the gods. Well, I take your own and leave us in peace. And it seemed to work for them. Creation fights non-titers. Write it down. Creation fights non-titers. Creation fights non-titers. The curse of creation fights non-titers. Your spiritual exemption from the curse that is upon creation is bringing God's designated portion and bringing it with joy and bringing it with understanding. Hallelujah. The Bible says, verse 11, And I will what? rebuke the devourer the only place in scripture where god tells you just calm down i will take care of the devourer do you know who the devourer is the devourer is a spirit the devourer is a spirit he is the one who is an envoy of the cause upon creation the devourer causes loss the devourer causes death the devourer causes mishap the devourer causes misfortune this is the ministry of the devourer. Whenever the cause is ready to catch up with you, the devourer comes. Mysterious accidents, mysterious failures, inexplainable setbacks, circles of misfortune, the curse of creation is catching up with a man. How many rich people are living as if they are not working they thought the, the secret is promotion then they got a job and it has not changed you buy a new car somebody just goes out to test the car and returns back with two tires because the car is scattered into nonsense the moment they pay your arrears five million you fall sick your wife falls sick the children fall sick they keep treating them when the money finishes they are healed by themselves the devourer. The devourer. Are you getting what I'm saying? You enter the exam hall and then you blank out and you come out. You are conducting tutorials for others. But you yourself will not be able to excel. It's not just fasting. It's not just prayer. 
is not just deliverance in terms of casting out demons. I tell you the truth. See, listen, listen to me. You know why there are many people, before you lay hands on them, the demons fly out. They just went for retreat. As soon as you want, they just say, hey, let's stroll out and allow this, this guy to just roam around and waste his time because they know that they have been authorized. See, you cannot destroy principalities. You can only dominate them. That's why the Bible says Christ is the head. Even Christ recognizes the presence of principalities. Are you blessed, please? It says, And he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground. Your ground is anywhere you plant. It could be your job. It could be whatever it is that you are doing. It says, Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before her time, saith the Lord of hosts. And then verse 12, the last verse says, All nations shall call you blessed and it says for ye shall become a delightsome land the word delightsome is the word well favored is the word fortunate fortunate well favored right fortunate so if i walk to this brother and say brother take 10 naira and he collects people say ah you are lucky no you are not lucky and then he goes outside and another person says are you so 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 and so please come i have something for you say kai bros you are lucky oh no you are not lucky you are at peace with creation there is a mysterious supernatural anointing upon you a church that does not tithe i guarantee you in the name of the lord they will struggle forget about dominion whether financially or everything I know churches that threaten their members if you leave my church i will curse you better come and add to the numbers and they say people come and receive miracles and go and they move all around they are always broke they are always begging things are always not happening creation does not have any respect whether it's koinonia or whatever god himself spoke a curse who will revert the curse Listen, while you are seated or standing looking at me, this is a key to supernatural exemption from the vicissitudes of life. You want to survive in the Nigeria of today? Please exempt yourself from the nonsense that is killing people. Look at how high blood pressure is destroying people because creation has refused to obey them. Money! Come to me now! Say, are you joking? Does it happen just like that? It only happens, the creation will only hear your voice when God's portion is returned to him. And so there are people, watch this, there are people that get up in the morning, brothers and sisters, before evening, there are untold blessings upon their lives. People go out of their way to favor them. A lady is moving around. You may think she's not as fine. But you see all the brothers who are praying for pursuing her. And they say we are not embarrassed. Ah, there is an ointment. Ask Esther. There is an ointment. It does not just happen. It's a distinguishing anointing. It's an ability of the spirit that causes things to. The best way I can use it. I can describe it as fortune or good luck. Nothing just happens. There are no customers coming in my shop. I, I don't know. Let's paint the place green. You, play, you can paint it green, paint it red, paint it white, paint it blue. If you are a robber, creation fights you. The very soil upon which your shop is laid upon will fight you. Who is God speaking to? How many of our parents have refused to tithe? They have been working since they were 20 years. Many of them are old right now. But there is nothing about their lives that show for it. Please, let me tell you something. Pay attention to this. Don't fight the Bible. You will be a victim of it. 
Now watch this. How does tithing relate to the blessing in the New Testament? Besides, let me tell you something. Tithing is not an Old Testament concept. It never came with the law. When the law was fulfilled and abolished, it was never part of it. Tithing is still relevant in the New Testament. Watch this. I want to share with you a very powerful mystery on how you activate the operation of the blessing in your life. Hebrews chapter 5. Adonai 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 You reign on earth Help me In your name We will rise Adonai You reign on earth Watch this The Bible in Hebrews chapter 5 Begins to give us the high priestly ministry of Jesus. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 5 reveals Jesus now as our high priest. Are you getting the point now? The high priest of the church. Not just the second Adam alone. Not just the apostle of our faith. But the high priest. And then he starts by saying. For every high priest, verse 1. Taken from among men is ordained for men in the things pertaining to God that they may both offer gifts and sacrifices for sin now go to verse 5 go to verse 5 we we'll read down to verse 7 it says so also Christ glorified not himself to be made a high priest watch this it says but he that said unto him thou art my son in other words god did not elevate himself to a position of a high priest it i mean jesus now the christ it was god the father who authorized him to function to carry out that ministry it says today i have begotten you verse six as he said also in another place now watch this he says thou art what a priest how long forever after the order of who remember we talked about that man melchizedek right melchizedek was a priest of the most high now the bible says jesus to the new testament believer is a high priest and he functions in the order of melchizedek what was melchizedek's function with abraham he received tight and released the blessing that was all he did that was everything about his priestly office. He received tight and released the blessings. He received tight. So Christ in the office of Melchizedek, the moment you honor him with that designated portion, the same way Melchizedek blessed Abraham, he authorizes creation to start responding to you. The Bible says you are a priest forever. Please, are you getting what I'm saying? all that melchizedek did because the bible says he is after the order meaning his function is in the similitude of melchizedek we never see melchizedek doing anything except receiving god's designated portion and then activating the blessing on the giver christ himself awaits standing in the throne room for obedient believers so the moment you bring his portion he receives it as a high priest although you brought it to a church although you gave it to a man of god you are not sowing it you are not doing favor it's like you are answering a register and you stand before the throne and he receives it and then he says possessor of the heavens and the earth and you come out and fortunes start happening and people start working against you mysteriously but consistently this is the mystery Christ has become our high priest after the order of Melchizedek so a church that tithes 
takes God's designated portion and says, Lord, we know that in Nigeria there is struggle. People do not even honor churches. They don't honor men of God. They blackmail them. One little scandal and your ministry is dead. Lord, we do not want this devourer. This is your designated portion. And the high priest receives it. And he says, Koinonia, possess your territory. Possess the heavens and the earth. And you were sitting in your room. And something started moving you. I won't come for Koinonia. But you found yourself here. It's called the blessing. It's a mysterious operation of the Holy Spirit. How many lives. Watch this. How many lives are under the yoke of the bondage of corruption. Some of you seated looking at me right now. You can't wait for next week. Oh God, miracle service, my bailout. I'm giving you a key. I'm giving you a powerful key. Tithing has nothing to do with money. Tithing has everything to do with dominion. Tithing activates the operation of the blessing. So creation begins to respond to you. You may be small, you may be illiterate, but creation will respond to you. Doors will open on their own volition. Men will run over themselves to favor you. While you will get into the same challenge that somebody is getting into, a helper will come and take you out and leave the other person there because God's portion has been given. Listen, there was a time in my life I was born again, but I was not consistent with tithing. And I can tell you it was hell on earth. Hallelujah. When we started Koinonia, by the grace of God, we have been joyously and happy. It does not matter what offering or collection happens in this ministry. God's portion must be returned to him. Before anything is done, I don't care what the money is for. God's designated portion. That is the reason why we will only keep going from glory to glory. Because everything within our territory supports us. The National Union of Road Transport Workers asks the protocol. They love us with all their heart. The Mopol and the, minist uh, and, and the military. The, I mean, we, we have access to all their officers just like that. Almost every one officer that has found himself working here has either been promoted or relocated mysteriously. Because when you come under a covering that is faithful, you can tap into that law of exemption. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I taught my mother this principle. I said, mommy, if you never do anything, please be faithful in time. There was a time my mother said she wanted to start selling logs of firewood. I said, my mother, is it that bad? But today, every devil in hell, every devil, including the ones that will be manufactured now, if there are any, they know that my mother is blessed. As every foul spirit in Zaria. I say it with confidence, not by boasting, but that these principles are irrefutable. It will happen for students. It will happen for married people. It will happen for business people. God's designated portion. The key to activating the blessing from Titan is consistency. 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 When the Lord honors you with one million, and you look at 10%, 100,000. Ah! Say, hell! No, this is too much. Ah, ah. ah. How can I bring 100,000, bring it to Koinonia? Who are you? You think we're idiots? We just walk. Monkeys walking. Baboon is chopping. And you watch, watch ignorant people educate you in newspapers. Watch ignorant people who do not know God. Lambas pastors and put things about tithing the devil is using them they write articles that mock people and when you read it it responds to your greed and you say yes this journalist is wise they now say let's calculate if everybody in koinonia brings ten thousand tithe ten thousand times 
5,000 or 4,000. He said, Abba, is supposed to not reach. He said, let me tell you something. My blessing, my dominion is not tied to koinonia. My dominion is tied to my own personal tithing, my own blessing. I say it with all humility by the grace of God. I fear God. You can ask him. I have not failed. From the time I made up my mind, I am always faithful in my tithing. The moment God blesses me, the first thing is, Lord, your designated portion. Not, I beg, take Jare, let this cause live. No, with joy and honor, it gives me pleasure. That's why my life will keep remaining a mystery. You can only talk about it and maybe criticize it, but there's nothing stoppable about it. Uh -uh. There is an ancient mystery. This ministry you see is sitting upon a foundation that is unshakable and immovable. Many of you just got to hear yesterday or today that we change venue. I say this with all humility. How many ministries can afford that thing? To just change venue, you know you are coming to meet empty chairs. But it doesn't matter where we meet. There is a spiritual factor. I'm teaching you because it's not a reserve for koinonia. It's your heritage. So it's not the location of the business or the church that is making it fail. Believe me, creation is fighting you. People were standing under the rain. There are people standing under the rain. Do you think these people standing are idiots? Some of these people are noble men. Some of them are family men. Do you know what it means for a young man? We are talking of young people to just come and stand like a zombie for hours. Hapa, people. The only time you do that is when you are collecting your scholarship because you know there is a reward. So you say, myself, endure, let's stand. It's a secret to sweatless dominion. You stand... I pray that God will make you see this mystery. Many of you are not faithful in tithing. You can start and then you just say, Kai. You bath whether it's convenient or not because you are aware of the consequences of not bathing. Sometimes you will need to drag yourself to the bathroom. And while you are murmuring, your body will say, Bath and be healthy or don't bath and die. And then you have to choose. God is setting before you. It is not about witches and wizards. It is not about principalities and powers. It's about engaging the mysterious law that men have used from grace, from what, what do they call it, from grass to grace. It has taken men from nothing. People have slept by the wayside. You listen to a woman called Jemima Mbaya. Many of you have heard her teachings. This woman used to sleep on the road in Joss. She used to use a carton. But today she has become a voice. There was once upon a time this ministry. A few people were here. We used to meet on the floor just like this. Not even mad. But see what the Lord has done. Let me tell you. There is no situation in your life that is new. You can argue it and look at it or get angry tonight and say this is it i found the key this is it i found the key ah tight your way out of misery the the yoke of bondage is too much it will kill you tight your way out churches tight your way out of financial hardship tight your way out of suffering and hardship and misery Stop authorizing Satan. My children and my generation, by the grace of God, will remain blessed forever. God knows. Not just because I'm a minister. Imagine how blessed my children will be. I have secured their future. You would think it's because I'm in the position that I am. But it's a mystery. From birth till they go to be with Christ, they will walk in the blessing. Listen. Look at me. Some of you were born in families where nobody believed in you. Right now, as you are seated here, you are the only hope of your family. Accept yourself. Exempt yourself. Tonight, exempt yourself. 
we are going to take the communion and the communion will do two things number one the communion will advocate because it's the mystery of the blood because many of us right now the bondage of corruption is upon you you know it you can fake it listen let me tell you when everything is not working in your life there is a cause not the cause in your village creation is fighting you I met a young man who said he was getting ready to marry I said how much is your budget he said 3.5 million I said how much do you receive a salary he said 30,000 I said tie yourself to the altar otherwise die there with 20 20,000 per month tie your way to the altar if you are really interested in marriage please don't joke with what I'm saying I was thinking about this all the while while we were coming this was all that I was thinking about I said Lord will you help your people to understand tonight I have seen people in this ministry I have seen people that I know who would not be able to buy yogurt of 100 naira. I have watched them tight themselves to practical dominion. Don't think everybody seated here is broke and suffering. Let me tell you sincerely, not everybody is under this cause of creation. There are people who are at peace with creation. something mysterious happened today I made an order of something to come in and then um, the head of protocol went to get it for me and while we were coming someone called me and said are you this and that and that say yes I said um, I just saw you and I found out that we are from the same place he said the order that you made have they sent it I said yes he said wow I have already sent another one of that order to come in again you call it luck. I call it the mystery of exemption. Exemption. Listen. Listen. I, I want you to understand this. This is very powerful. That's why you hear people like Bishop Oyedeko. They may make some statements that look like they are bragging. A thief came. I think it was a thief or something. I heard the story. That he came to living faith. He was standing outside. Just like this. And he fell down and died. Nobody prayed. No police. A, the earth fought him to his death there are some people that are untouchable you just see, try to touch them and you see what will happen everything will fight you from your clothes to creation to the car that is carrying you you see them ordinary but those with them creation is for them you the more you criticize the more they rise it looks like they, nothing can be done there is an ancient mystery Bring God's designated portion and reign in absolute dominion. I tell you this, even if we decide to hold Koinonia in Gaskia, the exact thing will happen. Ask those who we, we went to minister in Funab. I don't think they have ever seen that kind of overflow. A gigantic auditorium, I think we'll show the workers during retreat. The same way it happens in Koinonia. It was powerful, they almost tore my clothes yesterday. I return with seeds upon seeds the hampers the bags that they brought gift in they had to stop us at the airport to transfer it into something I've not even opened it to see what is there there are some of you tonight you came with seeds to sow do you know why because when you bless me it will come on you see this this thing is this thing is, is almost like Ojoro you become so blessed people have to use you as a ladder to climb But many of us have been cheated. Welfare, please bring the communion quickly. Many of us have been cheated. Hear me. As you are seated right now, there are many of us, everything is fighting you. Your family is fighting you. Your academics is fighting you. Your relationship is fighting you. Every door seems to close. Exempt yourself. We are first going to plead for mercy because these principalities is not the issue of prayer to say I cast you. Please. Gentlemen, sorry, you have to make a little sacrifice right now. Please do not be offended. Everybody will participate in the communion. No, don't worry. I think you can stay. Hallelujah. 
as you partake of this communion listen this is a communion unto an empowerment to start tithing it's a communion that will supply strength to your spirit man it says for this cause many are weak many are weak many are limited for this cause many become sick mysterious sickness fibroids growing out of nowhere and for this cause many die Psalms 82 verse 5 Psalms 82 verse 5 When you are not a tither there is nothing you do that will work if it is working now you are only seeing a mirage I guarantee you in the name of the Lord a shock is about to come your only scriptural exemption is your tithing God's portion God's portion many of you saw titles coming and then when you saw titles coming you were just looking at them my tithe belongs to God no matter what happens I cannot touch my tithe even if the world is going places it is God's portion it is a matter of life and death his designated portion bring ye all the tithes koinonia bring ye all the tithes into my storehouse and prove me I vow to you no matter where you are tithe your way out of trouble tithe your way to the top The Bible says, they know not, neither will they understand. As a result, they walk in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Listen, this is one of the most powerful messages you would have received this year. Whether you are a director, whether you are on a job, I don't care what you do. If you are not a tighter, you have signed up with struggle forever every time you refuse to tithe you have not only destroyed yourself you have destroyed your children's destiny how can I be so wicked as a father to allow my children come up you can you can have Rema you can be a prayer warrior you can be whatever if you are not faithful the tithe you are not faithful in tithing hallelujah rise up on your feet this is a night of destiny lift your voice in one minute cry passionately to God and say Lord thank you for bailing me out go ahead and pray thank you for bailing me out Thank you for bailing me out. There is a bondage of corruption. There is a cause of hardship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two lift your voice and say lord as i partake of this communion supernatural grace to never fail in my tithing now i see that there is a high priest waiting for me waiting for my business waiting for my church there is a high priest after the order of melchizedek that receives of my tithe and releases and activates the blessing lift your voice and pray are you praying inside and outside 
communion is not something to eat when you are hungry there is a mystery the blood tonight will cry mercy it will cry out to the earth cry out to creation mercy and grace mercy and grace that's what the communion is for tonight mercy for your shortcomings grace for consistency hallelujah now look at me the bible says not to partake of the communion unworthily because although this may be wine and bread but i want you to understand that in the spirit the moment the power of god comes upon it it is the mystery of the very body and the flesh of the christ and the bible says partaking of it unworthily can cost you even your life you are here right now you have not given your heart to the lord or you have found yourself derailing the ways of the lord lift your voice in one minute and say lord i make my ways right according to the ordinances of the scripture let me not partake of the communion unworthily Lord, I cry for mercy. Please pray. I know you, you take communion all the time. But I tell you, this is a communion with a difference. We don't do religious things here. We do things out of revelation. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Now, in one minute before we direct you on how to do, I'd like you to mention all the things that you know are fighting you and declare that by the mystery of this communion, the blessing comes upon your life. Lift your voice and pray. Come on, you're not praying, Koinonia. Mean business with this. Is it your finances? Pray. Is it your health? Is it your job? Is it marriage? Relationship? I engage the mystery that brings the blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, you left your ordinance with the church. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands upon this communion set. I release the power of God upon it. It loses its earthly significance as an ordinary drink, an ordinary wine. And I declare that it takes on a heavenly significance. Lord, let there be deliverances as people partake of this. Let there be healings. Many of you, as you take this, there will be instant miracles, instant breakthroughs. Chains will fall off your life. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to do it this way. If you have a seat, please sit down. All those who have seats, please sit down. Please do that quickly. Let's save time. We're going to start with all those standing. Just pick the bread, pick the cup, and then drop it here. And then, please, I think the rain may have, I, don't, I think it has reduced a bit. So, those who take up this, you are coming back in, but please, the moment you take it, you can just give space so that we'll do that and then we'll coordinate very quickly. Worship team, you will guide us through powerful sessions of worship. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
Father, we bless this in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, Lord, we give you praise. Those seated, be praying in tongues. Lift your voice and be praying. Hallelujah. All right, direct them. You can begin to come now. In the name of Jesus, it is blessed. Please open it and let them partake of it. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. The mystery of the body. The mystery of the body. There is an anointing upon what you are taking. It's not a ritual. Those of us seated, make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Lord, this is the end of this captivity. Every manifestation of darkness that has stopped me from being a tighter and kept me in bondage, I cause it in the name of Jesus. Please make it snappy, make it snappy, make it snappy. The angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Please, as fast as you can, as fast as you can, make it snappy so that we save time. Make a barrier. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Heaven and earth adore you. Let me encourage those going outside if you can accelerate your, your movement please those coming let's let's make it snappy there are already so many people outside and we have to hurry up Oh, we discern the Lord's body tonight.
shown you the key the key the key to getting your life and your destiny back he's shown you the key that one key that's what will open you to a mysterious dimension of wealth hallelujah you are mighty on your throne you are mighty on your throne you are mighty you are mighty on your throne. 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 
God speaking to us tonight. When Moses died, please look up everyone. When Moses died, the Bible tells us how that he told Joshua, he said, Moses, my servant is dead. And now Mo, uh, uh, Joshua had a responsibility to throw down Jericho. And he was afraid because the Bible tells us that Jericho was a mighty city. Do you know the fence of Jericho? According to scripture, five chariots could stand on the fence. How will you break through that fence? That is a challenge. But he said, I will show you something. Watch this. 5 verse 1 of Joshua. Open our eyes, oh God. And let men and women walk away from their chains forever. Walk away from their chains forever. Five verse one, and it came to pass. It will be a fast reading. 
when all the kings of the Amorites who were on the side of Jordan westward and all the kings of the Canaanites who were by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan from before the children of Israel until we were passed over that their hearts melted neither was their spirit in them anymore because of the children of Israel now watch this they were about to challenge Jericho and when the other kings heard of the mighty things that God did the kings tried to decipher what is it about Israel that makes them always win battles what is it that makes them whether you have a greater armory than them is insignificant they will throw you down there was a mystery of dominion they were working with and God was about to introduce Joshua Joshua was just a young ruler taking over from Moses and this is what he told him let's see the mystery let's take chapter 5 verse 2 5 verse 2 are you there now let's look at it it says at that time the Lord said unto Joshua do what he said make sharp knives he's about to teach him how to continue in the steps of Moses make sharp knives and circumcise again the children of Israel the second time let's continue three and Joshua made sharp knives and circumcised all the children at the heel of the foreskins and then and this is the reason why he circumcised them all the people that came out of Egypt were males even all the men of war they died in the wilderness after they came out of Egypt five now all the people that came out were circumcised but all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way when they came forth out of Egypt were not circumcised are you seeing that now all those who had been winning and making Israel make progress it was because they were circumcised but he said these guys are not circumcised and if you don't circumcise them something dangerous is about to happen to you verse 6 it says for the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness and all of that and all of that let's go to verse 7 and their children whom he raised up in their stead them Joshua circumcised for they were uncircumcised because they had not circumcised them by the way verse 8 watch this and it came to pass when they were done circumcising all the people they abode in their places watch this Joshua is afraid of conquering Jericho and the walls that are before him and God said no problem heaven wants to come into your affairs but you need to authorize them it says circumcise the people the moment the circumcision finished verse 9 let's see what happened and the Lord said to Joshua this day I have what rolled away the reproach of Egypt my goodness so all the while they were carrying the reproach because they were not circumcised he said the moment a circumcision a separation a cutting away happened he said this day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you wherefore the name of the place to this day is called Gilgal go to verse 13 let's see something mysterious that happened verse 13 everyone look up manda kaparato kasitaya and it came to pass listen Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes immediately after circumcision he saw a strange man who came and said I'm ready to partner with you you have invited the realm of the spirit into your affair that man had been there all the while but there was no access he said you need help you can't conquer Jericho by your strength the realm of the spirit wants to partner with you but the secret is the circumcision the moment it happened the bible says he lifted up his eyes and he saw a man with a sword and he went to him and said are you for us or against us next verse and he said nay but i come i'm also a warrior but i fight in the spirit the same way you guys are warriors i am also a captain i lead a battalion i help men on earth who invite us to come you are seated on the throne and he said and Joshua fell on his face and did worship and he said unto him 
What saith my Lord to his servant? Next verse. Watch this. And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off your foot. From the place you stand is holy ground. And Joshua did so. Next verse. Now Jericho was straightly short. Watch this. Let me just save our time. Are you noticing what is happening here? Immediately after the circumcision, he saw the captain. Then the captain started revealing to him the strategy. This is how you will take Jericho. Otherwise, they would have died there because physically speaking, Jericho was insurmountable. Now watch this. Your tithe in the spirit is similar to this spiritual circumcision. Your tithe is an authorization for the realm of the spirit to come into your affairs and partner with you. This is the reason why even human beings for men men because men are the carriers of the seed men are instructed to be circumcised why not sir? how can a man come from heaven we believe children are the heritage of the lord but you will give birth to a man and he will still go through circumcision are you getting the point now because the moment circumcision happens the realm of the spirit comes come come watch this you are on your own minding your business trying to win the war of life by yourself and god is saying you are doing this thing sensually you are doing this thing carnally you never will be able to do it he says honor me with your tithe and the moment that happens there is already a spiritual arsenal that comes to work with you and that which you have becomes supernatural not just natural not just natural it becomes supernatural the reason why there is a crowd of people inside and outside look at this right to the road right everywhere let me tell you the reason why it is not just because this is a great ministry it is because we have beckoned on the assistance of the supernatural there are some people standing outside who are even shocked that they are here. When you see them, you imagine there is no amount of invitation you would have given them to come but for the realm of the spirit. He said, I am come as a captain. In other words, the same way you fight, there are spiritual arsenals to wait in. You have been trying to fight every battle in your life just by using physical arsenals. And the Lord is saying, the earth is fighting you when you return my designated portion you authorize the realm of the spirit to begin to help you this ministry by the grace of god we are faithful never for any reason and by any means under the sun will we touch god's portion not out of fear but out of revelation my life as a person God is my witness that I honor him and that portion that belongs to him. This is why I'm dangerously protected. It's not about a man. No, 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 no. Dangerously protected. I share with you a simple but powerful mystery. When Pastor Jakes was sharing and he said, they picked somebody from his position and makes him a deputy manager deputy manager with interviews on phone you went to school and you are intelligent is that how it is done let me tell you the blessing breaks the rules for you it breaks the rules for you yes when men say it cannot be done it breaks the rules the problem is that we are too carnal we have intellectualized life life is spiritual say it after me one more time shout it like you believe it life is spiritual all that you see is not all that there is those who are controlling this world are those who have an advantage of the spirit you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne tonight God is asking you are you ready to stop struggling in life let me tell you struggling is a cause 
if you ever convince yourself that God is the author of your struggle I am telling you now struggling is a cause it's a cause from the pit of hell you will never be able to serve God if all you are doing in your life is looking for money because money is not missing you were never supposed to look for it hallelujah you will never be able to serve God if you allow this mammon the spirit that takes the heart of men away from God to begin to pursue other things trying to look for earthly relevance there are people who want to build a house but they want to build it physically by putting blocks you will die trying to build that house because there is a spiritual dimension to everything give us James chapter 2 verse 26 I hope we'll be able to find it I'm reserving it for next week by the way next week Friday here is going to be a powerful vigil hallelujah yes next week is going to be a vigil it's going to be a time of prayer and worship we're inviting guests from all over now watch this the Lord showed me this mystery and it changed my life I shared it in Abuja I was reserving it to start the teaching next week but your hunger has tempted me to go to that scripture and let's let's touch it a bit Paul watch this oh, sorry James the apostle James was teaching on faith and works corresponding action is that true and while he was teaching on faith and works he just feared off and brought a powerful principle in an attempt to explain faith and work he he, he compares it with something he says for as the body without what a spirit now all of you watch this guy the only reason that i can interact with him is because there is a spirit is that true if the spirit leaves this body what happens i will reject the body all of you will reject the body are you getting me and we will have to bury him because it is a body though complete it has no spirit are you getting me now i want you media please keep it there keep it there so that we'll I want you to remove the word as and just read just the first line to the comma are you ready want to read one more time one more time for the body without the spirit is dead it is said for the body of man for any material thing that does not have a spiritual force backing it it is dead for any material business without a spirit equivalent is dead for any church without a spirit agency backing it is like a dead body it says for a body without a spirit so the nation of israel was like a body without a spirit and he said joshua you will lose you need the spirit component and circumcision authorized the spirit when the realm of the spirit came they said let's go we can take jericho and with one shout this was what david knew that as big as goliath was he was a body without a spirit the other people were looking from the three-dimensional realm ah goliath was shouting and david looked at him he said i see a body but there is no covenant no spirit what is the force in the spirit backing you and goliath said am i a dog even if you fight me honor me and david said you are joking you don't know who is talking i'm not alone I, I, you are an uncircumcised see the word again see the word again you are an uncircumcised i would have been afraid of you i would have considered your threat if you were circumcised where is the ties that connects you to the realm of the spirit and he said i'm circumcised i may be weak but there is a government that backs me when you get this key my brother you will run as if satan does not exist i promise you i promise you this you can jump around for deliverance you can hop from everywhere but the body without a spirit 
is dead. So your boss in the office knows this. And there is a spirit that backs his chair. You just get up with your, your certificate and sit on that chair and it becomes too hot. Because all in that office is not just a chair. It's a throne. There are spirits back in it. That's why the Bible said, they that knew their God, they that have connected with a spiritual advantage, they shall be strong. Shall do experience. Rise from the realm of being natural and tap into the supernatural realm where the realm of the spirit assists you and your life will be nothing short of a wonder. How many people, listen, I have given up on trying to do things by my strength because I know I'm wasting my time. The body. In the same way, the next time somebody stands and threatens you, that is a body without a spirit. See, no matter what talk people talk, I only consider you if you are connected spiritually. Are you getting what I'm saying? I will deal with you. The body without the spirit is dead. I will make sure you leave this job. The body without the spirit is dead. You only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three-dimensional realm because there is an assistance, whether demonic or whatever. Are you getting me? Circumcision is that key. There are many who will continue. Ah, we have a an extent. We are going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week, Friday. I'll be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man. You will get up and jump and shout. Tonight, all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery crying and asking heaven and say lord behold the sick people and already in this place there are more angels the arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know that's always what happens whenever you see me come to sit down i smile around the stage i would have died of hypertension if i'm responsible for your healing but we have made arrangement already we are covered oh yes absolutely we are covered heaven is jealous jealous to protect his own because God's designated portion listen when you steal your tithe you have not only destroyed your destiny you have stolen from your children every time you don't tithe just know that your firstborn is in trouble if you don't do it again you are affecting your children because he said, I will pour you a blessing you will not have room. In other words, no matter how greedy you are, your lifetime cannot exhaust it. So when you steal, you have endangered the destiny of your children. God's portion. If anyone ever told you tithing is all about money, that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong. Tithing has nothing to do with money. It's the law of open heavens. Let me surprise you. If your tithe is 10,000 and you carry 1 million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that 10,000, you are operating under a closed heaven. Don't convince yourself that because you gave 1 million, the heavens is open. It is called due process. I will teach you next week. There is a protocol to spiritual things. Are you getting my point? Tithing is what opens your heavens. And then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper. If you like, carry one billion. Give charity organization. Give for the building of church. If you are not a tighter, I guarantee you, the Bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron. All of them are conductors of heat. Get set for heat in your life. When the heaven is open, if, not, if for nothing we know there is ventilation, fresh air, the wind comes. But when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron. Many of us here, no matter what prayer happens in this, that's why we took the communion. The devourer is authorized to destroy anyone 
who is not spiritually circumcised. The devourer is not a demon. The devourer is a principality. Even Jesus Christ acknowledged them. That's why he said he is the head of principalities. It destroys men's lives on legal basis. This earth is too wicked for you to allow chance. No. I pray for people all the time. People with cancers, HIV, tuberculosis, communicable diseases. Imagine if I refuse to be faithful. I would die like a chicken because most times I lay hands on people and there are medical doctors here. They know that some of these things are physically not healthy. But I'm circumcised. My goodness. You invoke my name in a shrine. Both the invoker, the invokee, and the ordinance. It, they will burn to ashes. Ashes. No matter how mad a man is. He doesn't enter fire by mistake. He can cross the road and you say he's a madman. But when he sees fire, he fears off. When heaven backs you. Let me tell you, your life becomes a wonder even to you. This ministry is a wonder to everyone. Not just because we are so smart. We are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit. Because by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep. Cry out, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Oh, spirit of the deep, cry out, God, oh, you are mighty on your throne, mighty on your throne, you are 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 mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your road. You are mighty in this place. 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 You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. Man toskala bandigalia. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Prayer point number one. Oh God. By the blood I cry for mercy. Where I have allowed the devourer. I have stolen from my tithe. Your designated portion. I have allowed the devil deceive me. That the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize. And I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Lift your voice. Your tithe. Is your spiritual circumcision. Eso para que te pitanga bakata. Pato poto si bakata. And the kapa soto prekete. Bakata kete kete rebaska. Embrakete si kapata. Bakata prekete. Embrakete.
If you take what I've shared tonight, for many of you, this is your secret. It's your password to a mysterious level of lifting. A level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators. God's portion. The time. His designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the lord is going to do i want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen i want you to confront the gates of your destiny and I want you to pray and say you must open up this night. Lift your voice. Cry. It's the seventh month. The gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Just add one more prayer. 
because I see the angels of the Lord already moving. Let me just add one more prayer. Listen. I want you to pray. Listen. There are giants on every mountain. Every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go. But tonight, I want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say, I must go tonight. Lift your voice. Inside and outside. Cry. I must walk away. That carrying out disease must die today. That cancer must die today. That HIV must go today. That barrenness must go today. That stagnation must go today. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person. Are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are here to write, please one minute so that when we begin to flow we just move and we don't stop so you have one minute while you are praying in tongues just write your prayer request very quickly so that when it's time to pass it you just pass it very fast make sure you don't keep silent Write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies. What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you.
in the name of your son Jesus Christ we pray that there will be a reign of miracles a reign of deliverances a reign of impartations a reign of breakthroughs we forcefully advance tonight we compel gates to be open we compel doors to be open we compel every handwriting of darkness to give way in this place tonight and we declare that this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit Lord that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God hallelujah hallelujah now I'm going to begin to minister to us and while I prayed for this in the course of the week again and again I kept seeing please pay attention can I have strings strings strings, strings? hallelujah I kept seeing again and again spirits watch this spirits leeching onto people this is what I kept seeing like a man sitting on a man's shoulder I saw this over many people and I said Lord what is the meaning of this and the Lord began to re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families and the Lord said when I come up he said the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers dislodge those powers I saw them like a man like a child will sit down on the shoulder of another bringing a resistance to your destiny and I'm about to pray for you right now there are so many people under the sound of my voice so many people under the sound of my voice they must go heaven is here to assist us lift your hands everyone inside and outside there will be such mighty deliverances outside by the anointing of the Holy Ghost hallelujah I even see someone I'm um, uh, suffering from severe migraine but then that migraine you think is just sickness we are about to make a shout brothers and sisters this shout is like the sling of David it looks ordinary but there is a circumcision upon it it's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm it's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men it's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic it's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now there will be mighty deliverances mighty deliverances hallelujah I'm going to pray for us and then at the count of three we are going to shout that name Jesus my goodness I sense the anointing of the spirit heavy the power of God will fall upon many of you in a mighty way and you will see this spirit some of you are already feeling uncomfortable it's the power of God especially many outside there will be mighty deliverances lift your hands now thank you Jesus father in the name of your son I pray right now and I sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit I decree and I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that the fire of the spirit oh restrain not your hand oh mighty one we pray that you arise as a man of war there are destinies at the mercy of your touch I pray that by this shout oh God there be a visitation that by this shout oh God everyone here under any spirit help them please help them bring them out everyone here under any influence as we shout let fire catch them and visit their foundations and I command every power that at this shout you will let God's people go inside and outside one two Three, shout that name. 
I command witchcraft, powers of darkness, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, inside and outside, inside and outside, the fire of God is falling on people, falling on people, I cause witchcraft, I cause witchcraft, I cause witchcraft, I cause witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we are going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire. Physically, physically. Right now, in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus! Oh yes! That's fire! That's fire! That's fire! Of the Holy Ghost! Outside! 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 Mighty deliverance! By the power of the Holy Ghost! You must let them go! You must let them go! Right now! By fire! Hey, para tototos! Breketes kata! La kata kata! Hey, protos kata! Barato! Hallelujah! Lift your hands. There are people here. As I begin to speak, the Holy Ghost will locate them. I'm seeing ladies. Ladies, a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire. Oh God, locate them right now. Right now. Right now. I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. Ladies, ladies, a miracle is happening to sisters. I cost those feelings. I cost those feelings. I cost I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now, as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person right now wherever that person is in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus inside and outside the power of God comes upon that person <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me.
your hands lift your hands i hear my spirit families families god is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now god is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating inside and outside we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of jesus families i see altars on fire are you ready now father any family under the yoke of bondage as they shout this name let there be a visitation one two three Jesus! Families, be free now! Be free now! All families, right now, I curse them! I curse them! I curse them! I curse them! By the blood of Jesus! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands i'm hearing marital spells marital spells please lift your hands listen hear me something mighty is about to happen here the lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as i begin to speak the wind i see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh god visit them right now in the name of jesus one more time we will shout that name wherever they are one two three jesus spells hearing a name Dorcas Dorcas a miracle is coming Dorcas an altar is on fire and I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle Dorcas Dorcas come and stand here hallelujah 
who is Israel I'm hearing a name Israel Israel the Lord is ministering to me tonight he must let you go let you go hallelujah now the Lord is showing me a woman you are here you had a miscarriage there is a woman here who had a miscarriage it's like you had a child and you lost the baby and the Lord is telling me please help them those under the anointing so that we don't this place is not rowdy listen let me tell you something the anointing of the spirit does not make the difference the anointing is the difference the anointing does not make the difference without the anointing we are just making noise here but by the anointing and i'm telling you this no matter where you are whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not based in Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying. She's where is she? Mina. Niger State. She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands, Father change the story of this lady by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ as i hold your hands i declare in the name of jesus christ that the lord sets you free madam look at me where is your husband at home. Huh? He's at home. why didn't he come with you I don't know. because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting Amen. but i'm going to pray for you you believe that yes sir. you believe that yes, sir. because this is delay yes. i'm seeing delay in your yes, family sir. serious yes, delay yes, it's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband yes, sir. i'm seeing two of you arguing yes, sir. but the lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family sir. This Amen, in sir. the name of jesus Amen. christ father let there be rest rest for her in the name of jesus christ you are doctors where is your mother my dear you. she stays in kaduna why are, the same way you are crying is how i'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit and the lord is ministering to me the lord is saying why wouldn't she cry when the load is too much on her look at me like we shared tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing are you hearing what i'm saying and even you yourself otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship but hold my hands in the name of jesus lord bring rest to this lady bring rest to her in the name of jesus christ Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage there is a woman that had a miscarriage and the lord is asking me to minister to her we may not be able to minister to everybody but there is there is someone please make sure you don't sit back the lord is ministering to me about that person so that we'll just we'll just pray for her dogara dogara i'm hearing a name dogara dogara who is dogara you your name is dogara yes sir where's your dad he's at home in kaduna he's, he's at home in kaduna. we have to pray for him what i'm seeing will never if they are permitting anything please and please carry them out of we are about to pray please don't worry in the name of Jesus I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident in the name of Jesus it will not come to pass we cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ amen madam I want to pray for you the way I'm holding your hands that's the way the Lord is saying I should tell you he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life. And he's bringing joy to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come. There's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family. Because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. 
it's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Okay. Yes, huh? yes, it's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage yes, because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, huh? yes, and that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, it takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He will give birth to a baby boy. Oh. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand up pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You are all Israel. And I'll pray with you. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just do what I do. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now in the name that is above all names there is no hiding place the light of god is against you in the name of jesus christ there is no hiding place for you by the blood of jesus christ you must release this woman is a spirit of death let her go right now in the name of jesus christ father may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your baby snake. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is liberty for this boy. There's liberty in the name of Jesus Christ. There's liberty. Hallelujah. Now, all those who were brought out here under the anointing, I want to I want to speak to them now. Don't worry. Everyone out here, I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you. You know my voice. I represent the most high. At the count of three, leave them and go. Right now. One, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out. Out of their lives. Out now. Never to return. At your Lord. Live their lives. Live their destinies. Restoration of virtue. Of grace. I cost that spirit from its foundation. I cost it from the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. All those who are trusting God for jobs, lift your hands. I see a strange anointing in this place. Please, don't withhold your hand. Don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me. Rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You, this lady looking at me. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah. Come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying, and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? 
you believe me you will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify in the name of Jesus Christ I pray the Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach madam the reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season that's what the Lord is saying I should tell you the reproach of many years is being rolled away I'm seeing like a baller that's what I'm seeing a trash place where they pour dirt and I'm seeing a new seed shooting out and that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny and the Lord is saying I should tell you he's rolling away the reproach from your life in the name of Jesus lift your hands and let's release miracle job if you don't believe in it put down your hand command you by the blood of Jesus you foul spirit you have oppressed this body in the name of Jesus I break your covenant I break your ordinance there is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady it's not just her can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady I curse you now I curse you I curse you by the God of heaven and I curse you by my office in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that power. Let her go now. Right now. Release her destiny. Release her family now. By the blood of the eternal covenant. She's free. Go. Release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Listen, listen. People of God, don't think we are playing games here. I know you may see some of the things happening. These are the powers that have tied down men's life. It's not solved by counseling. You are just moving in the physical. Yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound. We are not embarrassed. We are never embarrassed to set people free. Because that's what Jesus said. There's got to be a way of setting people free. Hallelujah. Father, jobs now. In the name that is above all names. I want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life. Lord, I declare. Everyone called jobless here. By the favor of God, I terminate joblessness right now. By the favor of God, I terminate joblessness right now. Anyone who has applied for any job, I compel them to call you. I compel them to call your loved ones. I compel them to favor you. Have anyone here called Agnes? Agnes. I'm hearing a name Agnes. The Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes. We we'll begin to pray for the sick shortly. Agnes. I'm hearing the name Agnes. God is ministering to me. He wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes. Do we have anyone there? Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Your name too. The family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg mysteriously pain.
telling you and it looks it's, it's like swollen this is what i see in a vision that the lord is showing me who is that person your leg is swollen where is it which of the legs Look what, look, if, if the devil, you remember I told you this, a body without the spirit, look what is happening to this girl. And then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife. Are you seeing that? Is, is, if it can, look at one, two, three, four, five people holding one person. Imagine what it would do to someone's destiny. I say this without a sense of cynicism many of the people that god is setting free attend churches every week look we need to restore the power of god in our churches and stop playing games with god because god's idea is not just for one platform hallelujah swollen legs no 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 don't, you don't you don't have to madam i see you too your legs for how long what's the situation with her is her leg swollen okay hold on she can't walk baby how are you hallelujah please help us with the mic who brought her okay no it's okay it's okay what's your name Annie your name is Anne. Agnes. Alice. Your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick. Then we we'll let them come out. I'm just going to to special cases. Leg. Your leg. All of you who had a dream in a dream is like something was shot it's like i don't know if it was an arrow i'm seeing something that looks like a dream and something was shot on your legs if the person is not here, i'm seeing someone who had that dream it's like i don't know if it was like a gun or something or an or a, 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 a sharp object i know that it was it's like it was shot to your leg I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to flow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the spirit. In my dream. You were shot. Fired at you. Yes. And what happened to you? I only I prayed when I woke up. You prayed when you woke up. The Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God, and God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. Jesus' name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is swollen. Your leg? Yes. What happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining a bit. It's a, for me to stand or to walk. Almost two years. It's broken for Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? I, I can't stand. You can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's the same. It's cut to coach. Huh? Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it 
entered his thigh and came and out came through out. the other thigh. This is thigh. the person I'm talking about. Yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his thigh up to the present. This guy Where is, is he? Here. Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos? Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Benue State. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate. Yes, sir. From Benue State. Hold yes, my hand. Father, visit this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I cost this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have nail pains. Since Knee. I, yes, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since so I can't you... Since I was sick for six months, but well, he used to swell up. But now I can't walk. I can walk and be hearing sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay. How about you? My leg is swollen for about five years. Five years. I cannot stand. No. Where is? Which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? Two months now. I started to leave this leg. Two two months. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs yes. swollen. Oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen. Permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now every wicked spirit leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands on your chest the Lord is bringing you deliverance right now in the name of Jesus this is witchcraft for five years I'm seeing a spirit go go in the name of Jesus you can't remain in her the swollen legs I command the swelling to go down in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus mama I pray for your leg in Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. 
how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people, especially men of God, are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities. We are going to do this very, very fast. All of you who are sitting, make sure you are connected and um, you are participating. While we are ministering to the sick, I want you to pass your prayer request. Ushers, you can walk around. Please make sure all those outside, even those on the roadside, make sure that we receive their prayer request because I'll be laying hands on it immediately afterwards. Myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you. Whatever your challenge is, I want you to believe God. While you're standing, lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I will not return back with this sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands over your people. Let your healing power deliver and save The Lord is healing someone of pile. I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. what is wrong with you just a laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities
can't walk. For how long? I don't know. What's wrong? For how long? You were born like that. Just like that. Let's pray and watch what God will do. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Can we hear it? If never, you could not walk by your own. You will fall. Are your legs strong enough? Lord Jesus. Is this not why you died? Did he not help you? He came here believing you. You have made this place a place of healing and miracles. Look at the condition of this brother. The legs. Look at me. Leave him. Remove your hands. Look at me. Have you tried walking before? Huh? Lift your leg. Try lifting. Lift it. Lift the other one. Lift it. Lift it. Come. You are mighty. Look at me. Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come. 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 Just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come. 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 Come on, you celebrate are Jesus. On your throne. Completely. The legs are open. If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, Jesus, my heart will sing. Yeah. No other name. No other name. Jesus. 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 My heart will sing. My heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Jesus. 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 My heart will sing. My heart will sing. Please, those outside, can we have it quickly? No other name, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, on as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stretch your hands as I pray on this. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Shaka parata katamaladaba. Lord, we are praying. Please make sure you are praying outside. Stretch your hands towards the screen. Say, Lord, I receive it. I receive it. Lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart.
Lord, let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations into testimonies. Lord, we agree, we agree, we agree in the name of Jesus. Turn impossible situations to testimonies. Stretch your hands and keep receiving. I receive by faith. Come on, pray. All kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of miracles. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that, God, doors be open, Lord. Let miracles, Lord, flow into this house in the name of Jesus. Testimonies, we are bound in great ways, Lord. Unprecedented miracles. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask for healings. We ask that, Lord, people that are insane, you cause them to be sane in the name of Jesus. We pray for contract that long delayed. Lord, we pray that, Lord, will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. And we pray for a shield of protection over your saints, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit. Let the fire of God call, come on cold altars in the name of Jesus. Let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us, Lord. We give you praise, blessed Father, for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit. We thank you in the name of Jesus we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony, I'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. 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 For many of you, it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's by the anointing. It's not by English. Burdens are destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. This last segment, you've heard me say it again. This is the most powerful and most impactful segment. If you're not a man of the spirit, you may not understand what I'm saying. Please help them. This is the most powerful of this segment right now. Before we go into this where I begin to prophesy, there are two dimensions to prophecy. There is the revelatory dimension of prophecy. That dimension of prophecy gives you direction. But the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension. That's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word. Never joke with the power of prophecy. That's the power that created the heavens and the earth. 
he said I prophesied as I was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of God I want to commit my life to the Lord I've seen the miracles I've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the Lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a Christian name is not the same as having a relationship with Jesus there are some you've given your heart to the Lord at one time please help those under the anointing I tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now I sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why I'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying I want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of God and you are saying Lord I have heard your word and I'm not ashamed to make Jesus my Lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now I'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep coming, God bless you. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won the victory. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. You have won. Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. Sasa Dibuchi. Sasa Dibuchi. when you hear the voice of the Lord I appreciate every one of you for coming out this is the way to the cross listen no matter what you achieve in life if your eternal destiny is not secured it says this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life but he said this life is in his son until you have the son you do not have that life lift your right hand forget about who is looking at you and in the name of Jesus I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart you are not reciting a poem it's not a special number this is a decision there's one of you here you smoke all these kinds of things it go and the rest ah huh? but as you pray this prayer the power is broken over your life say after me as loud as you can from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and with everything within me this night i make jesus lord of my life i repent of my sins I declare that eternal life comes into my spirit I am born again I'm a child of God from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever I am a new creation in Christ in the name of Jesus the power of sin is broken over my life in the name of jesus i receive of your life 
in jesus name i pray now i stretch my hands over you and i declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of jesus i declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life i release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of jesus it is wiped away i set you free i break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah i want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session i want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentlemen now everybody rise please i want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the bible says revive thy walk in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where god perfects all things as i prophesy to you please i want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time i know you are trying as ushers just stand around satan does not have authority i want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you when you ignore satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the lord lift your hands i prophesied as i was commanded you are Yahweh. you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne father in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation i pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah i prophesy to you that red sea you are standing before by the anointing of the holy ghost in this second half of the year an anointing comes upon you and i prophesy cross every red sea cross every red sea cross every red sea in the name of jesus christ i pray for every student here oh for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding i'm praying for you some of you listen as i pray now some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head it's an impartation of knowledge right now oh god i release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one two three take it take it take it take it now take it 
now that anointing receive it for exploits shaka ta 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 inside and outside take it for exploits 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 hallelujah everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy i command stagnation to end now 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 my goodness something is happening to your destiny every night season in your life every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now i see at least 100 people 100 people like fire 100 people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 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 parekete embratata lakata i prophesy by an apostolic anointing favor 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 everyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level i don't care where they are but i sound an alarm in the spirit that in this month we're entering called august may that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level receive the keys of the next level the mysteries of the next level every spiritual blindness shababa things happen around you you cannot see Lord of spiritual vision I pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as I'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the Holy Ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Hallelujah. There are many of us here. Dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction. But for many of us, our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there. The Bible says they will dream dreams. It says they will see visions. Shakataba. Lift your hands. There will be an, a restoration anointing right now. 
i just want you to shout i receive listen many things will happen to you many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where god will start showing you the blueprint for the next level right now in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout i receive let there be an impartation upon your dream life upon spiritual visions one two three now you receive it receive it restoration of fire fire dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams hallelujah it says what do you have in your house and she said nothing except a jar of oil i want to prophesy upon your gift it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed there are many of you the gift you have can bring bread to your table but nobody is seeing it it's one thing to be gifted it's one thing to be skilled but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow i prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift whatever has made your gift barren right now in the name of jesus i anoint your gift now i anoint your skill now i anoint your gift now Eriakata, creativity, creativity. I release it. I release that anointing. Creativity, skill, expertise, competence, proficiency. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's god's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light i pray for you whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of jesus i command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you. Hallelujah. Everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year, you have tried by your strength. I'm releasing grace upon your life right now. Go back to that same thing and watch how God will bless you through it. I pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of Jesus Christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here I strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine Lift your hands one last prayer listen i want to activate the gift of the spirit without the gift of the spirit upon your life your life will be barren and unfruitful it says for i long to see you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established i pray for you in the name of the lord jesus christ that the lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as i speak father i come under this apostolic anointing right now across the length and breadth in this auditorium and outside 
at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gift one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 i activate the prophetic i open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit i declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow i prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring into your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls i mean connections mysterious happenings I speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of Jesus I command that every gate that has been closed the Bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you I command the earth to work for you I command the wind to work for you I command the stars to work for you everything that is a disappointment in your life I change it tonight to a testimony Hallelujah. if you're worshiping with us for the first time keep standing everybody there are many people outside let me speak upon your life personally wherever you are please make your way to the front quickly we have one minute to do this god bless you this is your first time you are most welcome there is a prophecy for you you must carry a signature no stand up keep standing everybody must know you came for koinonia hallelujah listen when you come here we may not give you hampers but we give you an identity you will go back with it and everyone will know that you met the christ make your way to the front koinonia celebrate them glorious glorious god brought them by his spirit dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.